Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about concentrates. A concentrate is a form of substance which has the majority of its base component. In the case of a liquid, the solvent has been removed. Typically, this will be the removal of water from a solution or suspension such as the removal of water. We are going to talk about feed concentrates and first on the list is the energy feed. These are used in high amounts to utilize energy. These are the different sources of energy. We have cereal grains, good source of polyunsaturated oils, corn, which is very palatable and contains carotene. Next is rice, provides energy, but we only use rice that are no longer fit for human consumption. Next is sorghum, which is alternative to corn, and cassava, which has the feeding value of 80% just like the corn. Next is sweet potato, has the feeding value also has the same as corn and cassava. Next is we have bulky feed, has a medium amount of energy and high, and it has higher in fiber content and some has high amounts of protein. First source, we have the rice bran, results for polishing rice and corn bran, it is a byproduct of polishing corn and we have wheat bran, polishing of wheat. Next is plant protein sources, we have the legume seeds and oil extraction residues has high concentration of proteins. Sources are coconut, we have copra, coconut meal, meat, um, we have cornmeal, oil extracted from copra, sapal, oil from coconut milk, and copra pairing meal is a byproduct of desiccated coconut. We also have corn, corn gluten feed is a byproduct in producing starts, and corn gluten meal is a further processing of corn gluten feed. Next are legume seeds. We have cowpea, the mung bean, and the tapilan. Next is the animal protein seeds. We have the from animal tissues, of course. Um, first is we have the fish meal, which is obtained from herring, menhaden, and anchovy, which is a good source of calcium and phosphorus. Next is shrimp meal which is obtained from whole shrimp that, shrimp that are unfit for human consumption and it contains chitin which helps create cell wall that helps organism to retain, retain their shape. Next is slaughtering byproduct. We have the meat meal, the hydrolyzed feather meal which is an excellent source of protein for ruminants and meat and bone which is a combination of meat meal and ground bone. Next is dairy byproduct, skim milk, we have obtained from butter manufacturing and whey which is obtained from cheese manufacturing which is also a high quality protein for weaned piglet. Next is liquid molasses, I mean liquid supplements. First we have molasses, it has no fiber content but high in digestible carbohydrates added for palatability of dry seeds. We have coconut oil, boost energy level of mixed seeds, tallow, which is a beef fat, and lard, lard which is a pork fat. Next, we have synthetic vitamins and amino acids, which are added to adjust amino acids content of mixed feeds. We have lysine, we have threonine, and tryptophan. We also have methionine. When it comes to minerals, we have salt which improves palatability, limestone which is a good source of in inorganic calcium. We also have dicalcium phosphate, monodicalcium phosphates, and tricalcium phosphate. Next is bone meal which is a calcium and phosphorus supplement. Next is trace minerals which can be which can be which is obtained as a manganese oxide and magnesium oxide. 
Next are additives and growth promoters, which is the enzymes. We have the first enzyme, cellulase, breakdown fiber to increase availability of carbohydrates, manase added to feed to break up glycomans, protease, which is a helpful substance to break down protein for amino acid availability, phytase is liberate phosphorus in plants. Hormone and metabolic agents, which can which alters metabolic activities. First is acidifiers, supports the growth of microorganisms in the intestine of the animal. Next is food enhancing substance used to make feed more desirable. Next is antioxidants, and we also have appetite enhancers to improve feed intake. Next is anti-mold and toxin binders. This helps to prevent molds and helps minimize harmful effects on the animal. Next is antibiotics. Produce microorganisms to control growth of organisms. Next is chemotherapeutic agents. Same as antibiotic but it, the, the only difference is that this is chemically made. Probiotics is to improve microbial balance. Next is prebiotics, an herbal extract to stimulate the immunobiological biological system of the animal. And lastly, we have the herbal substance which is an alternative to antibiotics that uses organic acids. Thank you for watching and have a good day.